Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and on this channel, I share with you a lot of my homemade recipes, cooking from scratch and my pantry staples. Today's recipe, you guys have been asking for it and I've decided to make a video on it. Um, I was gonna save this recipe for my shelf stable pantry staple 2.0 cookbook, but you know what? Many of you have started asking, so I'm just gonna give you the recipe, okay? So today's video is cream of celery shelf staple pantry mix soup. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And if you have any other recipe ideas that you would like to have, you can shoot me an email anytime at thebudgetpreppers at gmail.com. Let's get into today's video. Here's what you're gonna need. So today I am using Thrive Life's chopped onions. These are like my go-to um, I just love Thrive Life in general, okay? Everything in here is super clean. Link will be down in the description box below for you. I'm going to be using some Augustine Farm dehydrated celery, okay? The only reason I'm using this instead of my Thrive Life one is because this one is already opened. Um, I actually prefer the freeze dried over the dehydrated one for this recipe. You just gotta really make sure that these get um, extra moisture to reconstitute um, because they are dehydrated, but they both work just fine. So I am going to be using that. If you have Thrive Life's freeze-dried celery, use that. The next thing I'm going to be using is the freeze-dried milk powder, okay? This is actually on sale right now at Thrive, so if you need to stock up on this, I highly recommend you do it now there's only two more weeks left in october and i don't think that sale is going to continue on for the next month so if you need it stack up on it now so the next thing you will need is some garlic powder optional is salt depending on if you are trying to reduce your amount of salt you don't need it you can always add it in when you make your dish um, and see how you would like to tailor it i am going to add just a little bit in mine but that is completely up to you and optional and the last thing you're going to need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. If you need gluten-free flour, you can substitute in gluten-free flour right here, okay? And this recipe can be gluten-free. So for anybody that needs that, you can just use your regular gluten-free um, brand that you normally use. So I'm going to bring you guys down here and show you how this all gets mixed up. Super easy peasy. And in tomorrow's video, I will be reconstituting this for my eat-at-home dinner recipe. Um, that's actually going to be in tonight's dinner, so I'm going to film that and that will be up in tomorrow's video. So if you want to see how this gets reconstituted and how it looks, watch tomorrow's video, okay? Alright, so here we go. We're going to start off with our two cups of milk powder, okay? This is from the Thrive Life can. So already got that dished out for us, so two cups of this. You're gonna need two and a half cups of your flour, whether it's all-purpose or your gluten-free flour. You're gonna need a dash of salt. This is optional. One tablespoon of garlic powder you are going to need one tablespoon of your onions and then the star of the show you are going to need one cup of your freeze-dried or dried celery Just simply mix those together. All 
All right, and the last thing you're gonna do is store it in your glass jars or a airtight container. This should make about two quarts, maybe a little bit more of this mix. Or you could use your vacuum sealer that attaches to your food saver and you could place that on your jar and suck out all the air to make them shelf stable and airtight. But since I know we are going to use these rather quickly because we are using them in tonight's meal, I'm not even going to seal them. If I have any leftover, then I will seal them. In order to reconstitute this into a recipe, you are going to need half a cup of your pre-mixed mix and then you will need one and a fourth cup of chicken broth or water. Just slowly heat it up and it will thicken up for you and you can throw it into your recipe just like any canned cream of celery soup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will see you in the next one. Bye!